Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Since we're playing this song, I guess we're going to be discussing some adult material this morning. So if you have sensitive little ones in the area, we're not going to be getting too crazy, but we are going to be talking about some stuff. So if you want to move them out of the room, might be a good idea. So do men prefer blondes or brunettes or redheads? Hmm, this has been an age-old question for quite some time, and now apparently we have some answers according to a couple of new studies that recently came out, and here to talk about it is Dr. Rose Hartzell, sex therapist at Alvarado Hospital. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So, okay, so there's this list that's been compiled of, like, the top nine things that men love best, right? Yes. And we're going to go through right now what they love best, and number one on this list, according to this research that they've done is the color red. Men Correct. love the color red. Right. So the brain reacts differently to different colors. And okay. we've known this for years. If you go to a fast food restaurant, there's lots of orange. It makes you hungry. So red actually stimulates the adrenal glands and raises blood pressure. So if you're trying to go out uh, on the town and you're trying to decide between a black dress and a red dress, a little red dress is always going to be... Always go with the red. Right. Now, does that count with red hair? <laughs> Or um, we'll get the hair later. <laughs> oh, we're getting the hair later. <laughs> Don't jump the gun. We'll wait on that. I'm really curious about that. Okay, number two on the list of um, turn-ons for men is. I'm surprised by this, cuddling. Right, the Kinsey Institute came out with a study that men who are in satisfying relationships actually had cuddling more in their relationships. And there's lots of different reasons for this. Perhaps it's because they mostly get their physical affection from their women. You don't see guys hugging each other as often as right. you see women doing. Or it could be that their partner's just more physically affectionate in general, which yeah. might lead to more satisfying satisfaction in other areas well, of the physical Well, I was going to say, in my opinion, I think they like the cuddling because they're hopeful that it will lead, you know, to other things, right? <laughs> yes, I'm getting the thumbs up from some people on the camera. I won't name any names, but yes. Yes, I'm just saying. Okay, number three on the list, big surprise, surprise, um, that men, according to this very scientific research, they love breasts. Yeah, big surprise. Right. So uh, in this study in particular, they showed that men look at women's breasts more than they do any other body part. They also look at the breasts before they look at the face. What? And, but the good news for yes. the woman out there is it doesn't matter what size. And it just makes sense in terms of the, an evolution. If you look at evolution, it, um, breasts represent femininity. They uh, represent fertility. And so those could be a lot of reasons why men are attracted to. Before the face, though? Before the face? I don't know, Raul. You tell you tell me. <laughs> we got men in the studio. We could bring them in on this discussion. No? You don't want to? Okay, number four on this this list. This is fascinating to me. Sexy news anchors. Right. Really? This was two studies. Two studies that came out at Indiana University show that men who watch the news with sexy news anchors uh, don't remember as much as if the news anchor wasn't. So you might have to dumb things down for the men in the room. <laughs> she just said that. She just said it. <laughs> um, but that they per is it that they prefer that? Well, they're paying more attention to the visual cues than the verbal cues. Okay. And so it's hard for them to uh, do both. So they, you know, they had to them take tests after they. Um, and they weren't retaining the information. They just weren't retaining it as That's well. That's interesting. When there was a sexy news anchor. Interesting. Female. Okay. Sexy it's all female. Anchor. Okay. <laughs> um, number five on this list, which I actually love, the fact that this is on the list, marriage. Mm -hmm. That's a big turn on. Yeah, and there, that's a misconception. Uh, men and women have the same amount um, of wanting to get married. And, and quite frankly, it's ironic that we often say that men don't want to get married because they actually uh, benefit more from marriage than women do just in terms of health benefits. Uh, and this can be, be what, because sometimes men or women are taking care of men when they're mm -hmm. uh, getting, when they're uh, Married, so. Yeah, that makes sense. No, yeah. that totally makes mm -hmm. sense. Okay, number six. I'm surprised by this one on this list, that a uh, big turn on for men is showing off. I'm assuming a woman who shows off? No, this is men, men the show men off. men right. other men show off. They, they And they like that? They like to show off. Okay, just in general. <laughs> and they this themselves. is also not a surprise. Okay. If you just look in the parking lot outside, you see what kind of cars driver uh, that guys are driving. Um, it's similar to a way a peacock does it in nature. <laughs> in that men, That's hilarious. <laughs> men like to attract women through showing off. Uh, so it could be a Rolex or whatever. They like to show off yeah. to attract their female partners. That's true. Okay. Number seven on the list, pumpkin pie. Mm-hmm. 
So there is a relationship, uh, there's a strong relationship between odor and the brain. Okay. And clearly odor is related to sexual response and for some reason the scent pumpkin pie has been connected and this isn't just in humans. Yeah, they've found it in rodents as well that there's a, a better sexual response when they smell certain things. I think it's pumpkin pie and lavender for men mm. are the most, and licorice, the scent of licorice for women. So perhaps it's because people have good memories. Yeah, um, I was just thinking that. You think of like comfort but and then again, warmth. Yeah, some animals also have the same response. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, number eight on our list today, uh, the top things that turn on men, no tears. No is tears, eight. yes. So uh, when a woman cries, and it's for because of something sad, so not just like tearing because their contacts are uh, dry or something, um, but there's a certain chemical that's released with those tears, and men can actually smell it, not in a conscious level, but in an, uh, an unconscious level. And, and when that happens, they, their testosterone decreases, and they're less sexually aroused or attracted to the opposite sex. And if you think about this in terms of evolution as well, that makes sense because uh, it's uh, it's allowing if if a woman is in a state where she needs comfort and not someone to be coming on to her, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's helping them to do that. Okay, so. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Number nine on our list, which I take issue with. Number nine on the list is brunettes. Men love brunettes well, over the other colors. Well, and I would I would disagree because I think that you're a brunette. Oh, we're making slash. this all about me now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's analyze my hair. Uh, and Auburn oh. Burnett. Um, but yeah, there, uh, there was a study done. 60% uh, uh, of men prefer brunettes to really? blondes. Okay. And uh, and this could also, it, it depends on who, if they're looking for a brunette to marry or, or versus blondes uh, or different kinds. And this is also just in the United States, so it could be differently other places. Right. Um, but for some reason, brunettes are um, supposed to be more dependable and down to earth. Um, okay. In terms of their perceptions of them. Okay. So. Interesting stuff. Fascinating. Thank you so much for this. Thanks we really, for really appreciate me. it. If you want to contact Dr. Rose Hartzell, you can do that at San Diego Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital. The number is up on your screen right there. We've also put a link on our website, fox5sandiego.com. You can go there right now and click the scene on tab. Raul, I'm curious your thoughts of the scientific findings of what males like. What did you think? Yes? No? Agree? You're curious about my thoughts? I'm, I'm curious. Let's go through numbers one through nine. How dumb do you think I am? I'm just kidding. You just freaked out the producer. Like, no, I know. No, Steph please. Goes, no. no. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to touch that with the 10 foot pole. Don't even worry no, about it. No, I'm just overall your thoughts. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> Dr. Rose is always awesome with good information. Let's just leave it at that. But the redhead thing, what's up with that? What's up with that? Lame. That's so lame. <laughs> I just did this a lot during that whole segment. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> for number And then other stuff three. I said to our flow director, uh, Mr. <laughs> DJ J. Flex, that, well, that's for another subject. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.